Jesus, yes. the Holy One. Glory, glory to His name. Oh, we bless His name yes. today. Thank you, Lord yes. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The Holy One. The Holy One. Yes. The One which was, the One which is, and the One which is to come. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. His name is Jesus. Thank yes. you, Father. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. Glory, yes. glory to His name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Father. Thank you. Praise God, to whom all blessings flow. Yes. Praise Him, whom all creatures yes. here below. Thank Praise Him, the Holy Father One. Yes. Praise Him, the Most Powerful yes. Host. God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. Glory to God. Aren't you glad we serve the Holy One this morning? Yes, amen. Oh, my, 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 my. Great yes. is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. Praise the Lord. And so we just thank God for Jesus this morning and uh, thank Jesus for the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. That he is holy. The Father's holy, Jesus holy, yes. and the Holy Ghost is holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because yes. we're in him, guess what? We'll hold his will. <laughs> for the word says, be you holy like I am holy. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Look if I say, you're holy today. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. You're holy. So I say good morning, good morning to each one of you. Greetings to the name of our blessed Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I want to say a special welcome again to all of our Facebook Live followers who are watching this broadcast for Facebook Live. And we thank you whether you're watching this uh, by Central Standard Time, Eastern Standard Time, Pacific Standard Time, and especially to our brothers and sisters over in Kinshasa in the Congo, uh, Central Africa time. It's about 3.30 uh, p.m. over there. And I know they're praise the fire up for Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. I talked to my brother uh, the other day, and I'll tell you, we had an awesome time in the name of the Lord. He's fired up. Praise Amen. God. So if he's fired up over uh, across the seas, we fired up here today. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So thank you again. Watch this by Facebook Live. Go ahead and hit like and hit share. Hit like and hit share. I'm Pastor Ronnie D. Simmons, Pastor House of Faith Christian Center, located in beautiful Smyrna, Tennessee. House of Faith Christian Center. Listen, we have threefold vision. That is to exalt the Savior, equip the saints, and evangelize the sinner. Here at House of Faith Christian Center, we have five purposes. They are evangelism, worship, fellowship, discipleship, and uh, ministry. And here at House of Faith Christian Center, we are a ministry of excellence, of effectiveness, and encouragement. Praise the Lord, because we serve the Holy One. Yes. So again, there's no accident you have tuned into this broadcast. So again, go ahead and hit like, and hit share, hit like, and hit share. Praise the Lord. And listen, you get ready to get your Bibles out and uh, get your phones out, iPhones, iPhone, iPods, iPads. Glory to God, the word of God is going to be so awesome today. Get a pencil, get a paper, get some uh, uh, um, uh, uh, highlighter, get ready to take some copious notes. This word is going to be praise the Lord. And again, if I have not told you already, Happy New Year 2022 in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. House of Faith, are you in the house this morning? Huh? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, right, let's give the Lord a hand come yeah. of praise. Oh, right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. And hey, we're still here. Glory to God. In the midst of 75 degrees last Saturday, God is still on the throne. Amen. In the midst of tornadoes last Saturday night, God is still on the throne. Amen. Yes. In the midst of mid temperatures this week, God is still on the throne. Yes, he is. In the midst of snow, six to eight inches of snow, God is still on the throne. Yes. In the midst of rain, praise the Lord. God is still on. Aren't you glad God has not changed yet? Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I'm just glad to be in God's service one more time. Why is this, Pastor? Because this is the day that the Lord has made, and we've come to rejoice and to be glad in it. Praise the Lord. So again, whether you're watching this by Facebook Live or some other social media outlet, praise the Lord. Get ready. Get ready for God because we believe that one word from God would change your life forever. So listen, I'm excited on this new year. Praise the Lord. A new year. Glory to God. So let's go ahead and get our Bibles out and hold up our Bibles and get right into this word. I want to tell you, praise the Lord. Unless you, by in this mess, you may be fighting the back of your seat. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is going to be awesome. So if you would go ahead and say these three words after me. 
This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. I am now ready. Ready, ready, ready. To receive the dynamic, the powerful, every precinct, the life changer. Life Word of God. Word of God. My, mind My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. Heart is I, boldly I boldly confess. I'll never be the same. I'll never be the same. I boldly, boldly confess. I'll never, never be the same. I boldly, boldly, boldly confess. After hearing God's word today, I'll never, never, never be the same. But that is the kingdom, and that is the kingdom. But that is the power, and that is the power. But that is the glory, and that is the glory. Forever, and ever, and ever. For this is my receiving day, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Again, you're watching this by Facebook Live. Go ahead and hit like and hit share. Hit like and hit share. Praise the Lord. And uh, get right into this word. Uh, this year, listen, God has given us a thing. And here's the thing for this year. Praise the Lord. It is God's amazing favor to you in 2022. God's amazing favor to you in 2022 and here at House of Faith, we're celebrating 30 years of the gospel of God's grace. Hallelujah. You say, what is grace? Grace is God's unmerited favor. Listen, grace is favor. It's, listen, it's undeserved. It's unearned. You can't work for it. It is God's this is super coming upon our natural to get supernatural results. Praise the Lord. It's that point that God wants to not just to get us to a place of being just satisfied, but listen, he wants to go beyond and take us far we ever can imagine. That's what grace is all about. So it's God's amazing favor to you in this year, 2022. Would you look to somebody and say, friend, I believe you. That God, that God will that God bestow upon you, upon you his amazing favor, his amazing favor to, you to you in 2022. <laughs> Happy New Year. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, uh, our scripture that God has given us is Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Luke chapter 2, verse 52 in the New American Standard. And say, I want you to go quickly to your Bibles. I want you to see this right now. It says this now. It says, and Jesus, knew this kept increasing, kept increasing in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with men. So we see an increase in Jesus' life, listen, beginning at the 12 years old while he was in the temple, both asking and answering questions among the doctors. Praise the Lord. They were amazed at him. And listen, at 12 years old, listen, the Bible says about him that Jesus kept on increasing. He kept on increasing where? In wisdom. He kept on increasing in stature. He kept on increasing in favor with God and with man. And so when he began his public ministry at the age of 30, praise the Lord, there was an increase of wisdom upon him. There was an increase of stature upon him. There was an increase of favor with God and with man. But it didn't stop at 30. Glory to God. That that favor, it just kept on increasing. It gets stronger, stronger, stronger. And we believe, glory to God, that that same increase that was on Jesus' life is upon the followers of Jesus today. Can I have a witness this morning? Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. We're not going to let that favor just stop 2,000 years ago in Jerusalem. We're not going to let it stop there, praise the Lord, at Calvary. We're not going to let it stop there at Gethsemane. We're not going to let it stop there even at the resurrection tomb. We want that increase of favor to continue on, praise the Lord, to come through time and be upon us here today. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. So today I wanted to teach on this message, on this, uh, on this subject of, listen to me now, a, 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 a prayer blessing of increase of favor for the new year. A, a prayer blessing. Of increase. And, and in Numbers chapter 6, verse 22 through verse 27, I want you to turn to that, and we're going to be reading that from the Amplified Version. But before we read that, I've got to share with you how I came upon this. Now, I, I, I've said this, you know, several times, and I read it in the Bible what it is. 
But a few years ago, a, a, a good friend of mine, a man of God, who I respect very well, uh, we, we were just fellowshipping and talking and just having a good time. And he said, uh, uh, Pastor Ron, he said, let me ask you a question. He said, have you ever heard of the priestly anointing of blessing upon you? And uh, I said, uh, what, what, what do you mean the priest of He says, there is a, a priestly blessing in the Bible like there's nowhere else before. And, and he said, I, I, I've been uh, praying this blessing uh, upon my life for a few years. And, and, and every day I pray this blessing upon my life. I pray this blessing, and, and I've been getting marvelous results. And so uh, uh, a few years ago, uh, uh, after he told me this, uh, I, I got a call, and the call uh, was from his wife, and she was just shouting, just shouting, 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 because they had paid off their 30-year mortgage on their house. 30 years, paid it debt free. And one of the things that he prescribed was this priestly blessing of the anointing upon his life. And then, and then I found out last year that uh, uh, he came down with uh, some type of sickness or some type of illness, and I don't know exactly all the details, but. I, I know he, he, he was very sick and, 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 and he lost a lot of weight. He looked very, very thin and very, very frail that he had to do that. I don't know all the details. But he kept on praying this priestly blessing, anointing upon his life of increased faith. He kept on praying. Well, I just went to the faith, Facebook uh, uh, just a couple of days ago and he showed him on that and he was at the gym doing this. <laughs> and I'm like, that's the same guy that was looking so frail, whatever he is, and his strength was coming back, and his health was coming back. And one of the things he described was every day he prayed this blessing of increase of favor on his life. And my friends, I want to tell you, before I get started to you, you know, since that day, Every day, I pray number six, 22 to 27, on my life every day. Amen. And I see it working. And, and so this is not just some cute little sermon you're going to hear today. It's not some, just some, you know, three little quick, three little points in the poem. I'm talking about a life-changing blessing, prayer blessing, of increase of favor to those who want to receive. Glory to God. Do I have anybody in the house who wants to receive a prayer of blessing, of favor, of increase on your life today? Would yes. you raise your hand? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If you're watching mm -hmm. this by broadcast, praise the Lord. You need to go ahead and like and share. You need to go contact all your family members, contact baby, listen, contact mama them, daddy them, baby brother them, a baby sister them, pookie that you quick them. Praise the Lord. If you want them to receive a prayer blessing of increase of favor on their life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, how many people have ever come to you and said, Would you pray for them? Anybody have said you could pray for them? I'm gonna show you today when you get them to start praying. And then life will never be the same. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So again, our mess today is a prayer blessing of increase. If I say increase, increase. see an increase of favor for this new year. Glory to God. And so we're going to read it and we're going to dissect we'll get to it. And you're going to say praise the Lord. Oh, glory to God. I'm going to tell you, this is going to be the best year you ever receive. Glory to God. Because now, praise the Lord, you're not just praying some little quickie prayer or whatever it is. But you're talking about, hey, listen, a, a prayer blessing of increase 
of favor for this new year in the name of Jesus. And I declare, I decree right now, your life will never ever be the same. Praise the Lord. So let's look at this, 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 this prayer blessing of increase of favor for this new year. It says this, and this is from all these scriptures from the Amplified Version. It says this, and the Lord said to Moses, say to Aaron and his sons, this is the way you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and watch God and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and enlighten you and be gracious, kind, merciful, and giving favor to you. The Lord, glory to God, lift up his approving countenance upon you and give you peace, tranquility of heart, and life continually. And verse 27 says, and they shall put my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. Glory to God. My friends, I want to tell you something. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Listen, I want you to hear me very, very simple. You start praying this prayer every day. Hear me now. Every day. I pray this in the morning time. This is part of my devotion. I pray it every day. But I, 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 I pray it personally. And the Lord speak. And so I, I pray some of this. And you know, and, and, and I, I, I say this, you know, praise the Lord by divine inspiration. I say this. Uh, and the Lord said to Ronnie Simmons, uh, say to all of his spiritual sons and daughters, this is the way that the Lord shall bless house of faith, Christian self. Families and friends of Ron and Terry Simmons and partners and friends of House of Faith Christian Center and Ron and Simmons Ministries. The Lord will bless us. The Lord will watch God, God, and keep us. The Lord will make his face to shine upon House of Faith and enlighten us. The Lord will be gracious, kind, merciful, giving house of faith and family and friends of Ronnie and Terry Simmons favor to us. <laughs> the Lord will lift up his approving countenance upon us. And the Lord will give us his peace, his tranquility of heart and life continually. And Pastor Ronnie and Terry Simmons and House of Faith Christian Center and partners of Ronnie Simmons ministry, hallelujah, glory to God, shall have his name upon us and we shall be blessed. Amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Amen. You see right now, I just start shouting right there. Amen. <laughs> glory to God. Can you imagine saying this prayer over and over and over again on your life? Hallelujah. In, this, in the midst of COVID-19, in the midst of the coronavirus, in the midst of all these strains, in the midst of unsettlers in Washington, D.C., in the midst of an unstable economy, in the midst of all the stuff that's going on, you start saying this upon your life, glory to God, what you are now doing, praise the Lord. I don't care what they're talking about. I don't care what they report on the news. I don't care what they say. I'm going to say what God says, and God God has now said a prayer blessing of increase and favor over our life. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, I'm going to preach myself happy right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. I'm talking about everything. <laughs> you are praying a blessing upon your life. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're not just saying words. God, you're, you're, you're believing God for increase of favor more and more in everything that you have. Now, so as we focus this theme on God's amazing favor to you in 2022, it's so vital that in this new year, listen, 
that we see God's hand of protection and provision as well as reflect on his promises. Now in the book of Numbers, the book of Numbers, which is the fourth book of the law of Moses, uh, there were five books in the law of Moses, Genesis, uh, Leviticus, uh, uh, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and, and, and Deuteronomy, and Numbers is the fourth book. Now, this book is so significant because the children of Israel had uh, received the commandments from Moses. And God had given them instructions of how to live. But also God had basically set a sense of order of how they were to conduct themselves. Why? Because God was preparing them to enter into this promised land. And so can you imagine, I don't know, half a million people, million people, I they don't know there, you know, that they're, they're there. And uh, they're in this place called the wilderness. Now, from where they were to Canaan, in the promised land, was only maybe a 40 day journey at the most, that many people. However, they were in the wilderness, listen to me now, for 40 years. A 40 day journey turned out to be a 40 year journey. Can you imagine going somewhere and only take you 40 days and, and, and end up 40 years getting there? <laughs> well, sorry, y'all, I ain't want to think about it, all right? And, and listen, while they were there, listen, here's some things that they did they complained. Hmm? Yeah. You know, they were going to get there. All right? You know, like a little child on, on a trip, soon they get in the car. I was there yet, I was there yet, I was there yet. <laughs> they became restless. They became impatient. Mm -mm -mm. They made many mistakes. It was so funny because they was in the wilderness and they was there, you know, uh, Moses, we're hungry. And, and God supplied them with this beautiful type of food, heavenly food they've never ever seen before, called manna. And it sustained them, and they ate it was just bread, it was delicious, and they, they, they ate it, you know, but it, it wasn't enough. Lord, you give us some bread, we want some meat. We don't want no wish sandwich, we want some meat between our bread. And the Lord said, okay. And the Lord sent this food called quail. All right? And, and they had so much quail, you know, and, and, and uh, they ate it, you know, and they kept on complaining. Lord, we got some bread, we got some meat. Lord, we thirsty. <laughs> Give us something to drink. And the Bible says that, listen, that, 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 that this water would come out of the rock. It was so sweet that they never ever tasted something like that. And so he supplied them, listen, with manna. He supplied them with quail. He supplied them with water. Uh, the Bible says that, listen, that, that the shoes never did wear out. There were no sickness, no disease. And they kept on complaining. And in the midst of that, that all in the midst of that complaining, listen, my friends, that, listen, they, 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 they still anticipated that God was going to do something special for them by showing them this special type of increase of favor that they had never ever experienced before. And so God, praise the Lord, he speaks through the prophet Moses. And, and, and so he, he, he simply, you know, says a, a, a blessing, an a, a increase of, of favor. And in this increase of favor, there are three areas that we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about an increase of his proclamation. He gives his presence. And then he gives his peace. An increase of favor that you have. And so let's look at this threefold favor blessing 
of an increase of favor than full. So again in verse 22, let's look at again, look at verse 22 and verse 23. All right. He says, and the Lord said to Moses, say to Aaron and to his sons, listen, this is the way you shall bless the Israelites and say to them. Now remember, Moses was the prophet. And the prophet's job is to go to the people on behalf of God. Yes. But Aaron was the priest. And the priest's job was to go to God on behalf of the people. And so that the communication would always be open. Always. Moses would speak to Aaron. Aaron would speak to the people. God would speak to Moses. Moses would speak to Aaron and his sons. And now therefore, why? Because Aaron was the mouthpiece of Moses. So he says, Aaron says, so, so Moses, come here, Aaron, I, I got something, I, I got to tell you this, all right? I, I understand that these people are in, in the wilderness. I understand that they're being complaining and, 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 and griping, you know, and, 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 and criticizing. I understand all of this. But I want to do something for them that they will they ever, ever imagine. What I want to do is I want to have a prayer blessing of increase of favor on their lives. And I'm so glad that the God's blessing of increase is not based on how we act. Yes. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Yeah. It is not based on what we say we're going to do for God. Amen. It's not based on our good intentions. No, God says, glory to God, in the midst of your grumbling, in the midst of your complaining, in the midst of your, 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 your saying all these things about, listen, we're not going to make it. We should have stayed in Egypt and, and we had it better than that. I uh, miss all that. God says, glory to God, because I am God and I love you. You are my children. You're made in my image and likeness. I want to restore upon you, listen to me now, a prayer blessing of increase of favor. Look at somebody saying, is that just like God? <laughs> it's just like God. Yes. <laughs> My friend, I'm just quoting God. So no matter what 2021 was, no matter what the promise you said you were going to do for God, you said, I was going to pray more. I was going to read my Bible more. I was going to come to church more. I was going to do all this for God. And you didn't do it. God said, listen, I understand you said that, but I want to do something new for you in this two year, your 2022. I want to give you a prayer blessing of increase. Hallelujah. That I favor like you never, ever experienced before. Amen. Now, so number one, the first thing he gives us, he gives us this proclamation. He says, and the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron and his sons, this is the way you shall bless the Israelites and say to them. Now, this word bless, everybody say bless. bless. It, it, listen, it, 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 it is not the car, it's not the house, it's, it's not the raise, uh, it's not all of those things in itself. The word bless, it, it, it means, listen to me now, and you want to write this down, it means and an empowerment mm -hmm. to prosper. Yes. It means that you are now endued to succeed. Yes. That, 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 that's the blessing. See, all the things we see are just the effects of the blessing. But the yes. blessing is this empowerment. And God says, listen, I, I, I listen. I want to empower you to prosper. I, I, Moses, tell your brother Aaron to tell the people this, this, this. I want to give them something that they never had before. It's not a one-time thing. You know, it's not a little doobie dabby what it is. I want to put an increase of favor upon them. Hallelujah. Now, the only way the children of Israel could proceed into the future with this increase of favor of God blessing listen, was to have an external source of direction. They're not saying, okay, 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 God, get, get, 
Where, 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 where does this blessing come from? We understand it comes from you, but we now have a we have to have a word. Everybody say a word. a word. We have to have a proclamation, okay? And so the source and direction from the Lord, watch this, can be found in the word of God. It's amazing that people want an increase of favor, but they don't want the word of God. And they look for everything else. They look for everywhere else instead of going to the word of God. But we as people of God, we know the word of God is so vital that if we can get one word, yes. hallelujah, yes. then that blessing of increase is going to flow freely from us. So let's find out where the word came. Look at Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to verse 3. We got to get this. This is this, this proclamation. This is what the word that came. And God always backs up his word. <laughs> he says, now in Haran, this is Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to verse 3. And this is from the Amplified Version. It says, now in, 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 now in Haran, the Lord said, the Lord, see, always the Lord says something. You want, you want to get a word. See, we just, we, when we fast this week and Pastor Terry talked about consecration, we wanted to hear a word. Yes. We wanted the Lord to say something. Yes. We just didn't fast just to lose a few pounds and just to be miserable. No, 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 no. We want to put ourselves in a position to hear a word from the Lord. And listen, so the Lord said to Abram, and he says, now go for yourself, for your own advantage, watch this, away from your country, away from your relatives, and your father's house to a land that I will show you. Now let me show you something with you now, that the word was, okay, you got to leave. Now I was doing some study and uh, Abram was a very wealthy man. And he came from a very wealthy family. You know, and, and I know sometimes y'all see these pictures of, uh, they show maybe uh, uh, people living in the belt of day, they maybe had a little hut or what it is. No, not this guy. Listen, this guy stayed in a mansion. It, it was like three, four, three, three floors. They, you know, they, they had a floor where basically, uh, you know, uh, the people live. It could be, this house could have 10 to 20 rooms. Then they had a, a floor at the bottom, like a basement like where the servants, men of the servants, head servants, they would stay there. And then they, the, the top would be like a, a guest quarters for when people come and stay there. I'm, I'm talking about, I'm talking about back in the biblical day, okay. These, these people, were, they, they, were, they were wealthy, they were wealthy. And so Abram stayed many times there with his father's family. They were all staying in this big old like mansion house that they had to do that, all right? And can you imagine God says, it's time for you to go. God, leave this, all right, all right? Leave my country? God says, yes. Listen, he said, listen, listen, you, you got to leave your relatives in your father's house. That means, listen, you got to leave mama them, daddy them, big brother them, yeah. big sister them, Shaquita them, Pokey them, and all the other them. <laughs> he says, now listen, all of them and go to a land that I'm going to show you. Yes. All right? Now watch this. He said, now watch this though. He says, and I will make you a great nation. Hmm. He says, watch this, watch this. And I will bless you with an abundant yes. increase. Yes. Of what? Of what? Of what? You know, see, sometimes people think when, when Pastor Silver calls these slogans, it just stuff out of the blue. Oh, he just come up with something. No, no, no. It's biblical faith. And guess what? It comes from the word of God. And so when I say that we God is going to give us amazing a favor to you in 2022, you see where I got it from. Yeah. So people, I don't believe you. I say, well, read the Bible. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. He says, I'm an abundant, in if I say abundant increase. Of favors. Okay. Now watch this. He says, I'm going to make your name famous and distinguished, and you will be a blessing 
dispersing good to others. Yeah. So it's not just about you. Right, right. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. And verse 3 says, I will bless those, watch this, who bless you, who confer prosperity or happiness upon you. He's that Pastor Simmons. He's that prosperity preacher. You got that right. Amen. What do you want me to be? A poverty preacher? Huh. <laughs> how can we, how can you teach people about the blessing and talk about poor? Yeah. How can you talk about the blessing and talk about don't have enough? How can you talk about a blessing and talk about I'm bound and making? No! Yeah. Confer prosperity and happen upon you, watch this, and will curse him who curses and uses insolent language toward you, and in you, if I say me, Amen. all the families of the kindreds of the earth shall be blessed, and by you they will bless themselves. Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. Glory to God! Praise the Lord. Now, some of you say, well, Pastor, I mean, that was good for Abraham, and that was good, but is your life good about me in 2022? I just, well, well, is that for me? Well, what about this proclamation of the blessing? Well, let's find out and see you or not. Look at Galatians chapter 3, verse 28 through verse 29. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Notice what it says here. Galatians chapter 3, verse 20 through verse 2. I just have to say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Listen, my friend, you're watching this again by social media. You want to get every word from that. You want to squeeze every word from that because I believe, glory to God, this is your year like you've never ever experienced before. Here it is. Okay? Now we talk about Abel. We talk about the blessing that was upon him. We talk about the increase of favor upon him. He says, watch this. He says, there is now no distinction neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is not male and female, for you are one in Christ Jesus. Amen. Now, I want to go ahead and make this announcement right now. House of Faith Christian Center is not a black church. Right. Amen. I know some of my brothers don't like it, but I can't find it anywhere. It says we are one. Pray, if I say one, one. we we one. Yeah, God respects our culture, He respects our difference, so forth. But when it comes to Christ, there's only one. Yes. And all this crazy stuff about one race is better than another race, and one race is inferior to another race, and one race is superior to race. Not in Jesus. There is no black church, there is no white church, there is no Chinese church, there is no Hispanic church, there is no Latina church, there is no German church. There's only one church in Jesus. Yes. Yes. And Jesus is Lord. Yes. Amen. And we all one. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, they don't look like me. Well, you don't like them either. <laughs> now watch verse 29. And if you belong to Christ in him. How many you belong to Christ? Amen. Raise your hand. Come on up. Glory to God. Now you open your hand. We give off the call right now. All right. <laughs> so you in Christ. Everybody say, I'm in Christ. I'm in, I'm in the anointed one and his anointing. Yes. The one sent from God. I'm in him. He belongs to me and I yes. belong to him. And if that is true, watch this. You are in him who is Abraham's seed then you are Abraham's offspring yes. and spiritual heirs according yes. to the promise. What's the promise? Yes. I'm going to bless you yes. with an increase of faith. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Say this, I walk, I walk in the increase, in the increase. of favor. Yes. Hallelujah. And so therefore, he gives us his proclamation. And that is, I'm going to bless you, hallelujah, with an increase of favor. Number two, not only did he give us his proclamation, but he gives us his presence. Go back to Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 to verse 25. He says, notice, he says, the Lord bless you and watch God and keep you. The Lord make his face <laughs> to shine upon you 
and enlighten you and be gracious, kind, and giving favor to you. Now, now, now I, I just tell you, I, this is how I read it. This is how I read it when I'm doing my time. I says, and the Lord bless me and my household. The Lord watches over us. The Lord guards us. The Lord keeps us. The Lord makes his face to shine upon us and enlighten us with his gracious, kind, merciful, and giving favor to us. Well, Pastor, I just got a bill in the mail. The Lord bless me. Yes. And the Lord watch over me. The Lord keeps me. The Lord makes his face to shine upon me. The Lord enlightens me. The Lord is gracious, kind, merciful, and giving favor to me. Pastor, I just went to the doctor, and I got a bad report from the doctor. What am I going to say? The Lord bless me. Yes. The Lord watch and guide me. The Lord keeps me. The Lord makes his face to shine upon me. The Lord enlightens me. The Lord is gracious, yes. kind, merciful, and giving favor to me. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, Pastor, my children acting crazy around the house. The Lord bless me. The Lord watch and guide us. The Lord keeps us. The Lord makes his face to shine upon us and enlightens us and gracious, kind, merciful, and giving favor to us. You start speaking that over your children. I'm going to tell you the little demons they got to go. <laughs> Amen. They got to get out of your house along with their little friends. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this house now has a blessing of increase of favor all around it. Amen. In every room. Yeah. The bedroom, the bathroom, yeah. the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, every room. Praise the Lord. Even the dog house, the dog is blessed. Amen. <laughs> now, you see the Lord's presence in the midst of this? You see the children of Israel, listen, consistently live upon the protective umbrella of his mighty hand and outstretched arm in five areas. Now, here are the five areas, all right? You get this. Number one. They had numerous descendants. That was a sign of the blessing. Numerous descendants. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Number two, they had fruitful land. The land was always good. Number three, they had good health. Number four, they had long life. And number five, they had protection from their enemies. Can you imagine next time somebody say, would you pray for me? And you start praying this blessing upon them and get them to start praying it every day and every day. And I said, I'm just reminding I'm just giving out. Now, don't waste my time. If you're not so serious about praying this, listen, uh-uh. Yeah. I don't waste my time. I love you. Praise the Lord. I'm only looking for people who want an increase of faith. And I get you to pray this every day, every day, every day. You know what they They'll stop saying, Pastor, stop praying for me. Why? They say, because the Lord is blessing you so much. Yes. <laughs> See, I understand it is not your prayer, but it's a blessing, a prayer, a blessing of increase of favor in my life. Yes. Wow. I'm telling you, this prayer changed my life, y'all. I don't have any bad days. Not one. Why? Because I pray the, how can I pray the blessing of favor and, and have bad day? Now do I have challenge days? Yeah, things challenge. But every time they come, I pray this blessing. Yes. All the time. So number one, descendants. Spiritual descendants. Upon you who receive this blessing. Listen, I believe that God, for you who are here today and watch this broadcast and serious about this blessing, I believe that God's going to birth from you lords of spiritual sons and spiritual daughters and spiritual grandchildren and spiritual nieces and spiritual nephews and increase will go on, praise the Lord, from generation to generation to generation. Guess what? Because it's bigger than you. Because the blessing represents spiritual descendants. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Number two. The blessing, you'll see the effects of the blessing is we'll start seeing fruitful land. We'll start fruitful land. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to tell you, praise the Lord. We're going to see it right now. House of Faith Christian Center, God's going to bless us with some fruitful land. No doubt about it. Praise the Lord. Well, when is it going to happen, Pastor? That's none of your business. 
your business is to believe God. God, I thank you for fruitful land. God, I thank you. Praise the Lord for properties for House of Faith Christian Center. God, I thank you for buildings, House of Faith Christian Center. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it's all about you. Why? Because the part of the blessing is receive fruitful land. <laughs> well, you need to not stop believing God for your fruitful land, for your homes, and your lands, and your real estates. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Number three, good health. <laughs> you ought to stop believing God right now. Praise the Lord. Listen, this fast has showed you you can have good health. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to tell you. I mean, did you know uh, one day um, my body got attacked? I mean, I mean, it got attacked like I never, I mean, my chest started, I never had chest pains like that before, you know? And I started aching and, and, and so forth and all. I felt tired and feel like doing anything so forth and all, you know? You know? And uh, uh, Pastor, did you go to the crowd and cry? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, in the midst of preparing my message, God, I thank you for the increase of favor. Yes. Hallelujah. Upon my body. Sickness and disease, you've got to get out of my body. In the name of Jesus, every disease, every pain that comes to attacks my body, it dies instantly in the name of Jesus. I dare you, COVID-19, coronavirus, you don't want some of this. Glory to God is bigger than you because I serve a big God. Yes. Praise the Lord. Listen, yes. let that night, glory to God, I got me some Epsom salt and put it in my tub. Praise the Lord. Hit the jacuzzi button. Got it in the back and just relax to God. Put my PJ on. Got in the bed. Slept like a baby. Got up the next morning. I said, I'm ready to go. Hallelujah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it works. Yes. Yes, it does. Number four, long life. Mm -hmm. Bible says long life will I satisfy you yes. and show me salvation. Praise the Lord. Whenever the devil sees he's going to take you out, he said, no, no, Mr. Devil. Hallelujah. I've got the blessing of increase of favor. I'll live this life. How long until I get satisfied? Mm -hmm. When I get satisfied, I'll check out and go to glory. Amen. And until I'm satisfied, you got to deal with me. And then number five, watch this. <laughs> Protection from your enemies. I, I like what Psalm 23 says. He prepares a table before me. Where? In the presence of my what? Not in the presence of my friends, but in the presence of my what? For my enemies can see how good my God is. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord to say, listen, I'm not quitting. I'm not giving up. I'm not laying down. If you better give me your best shot, I'm not going anywhere. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And God protection all the way around me. On my head, he'll be like a mighty shelter. On my feet, he'll be a sure foundation. He'll come behind me like a wedding got an angel. He's all over me. Yes. And he's keeping me alive. Yes. Hallelujah. Why? Because of the blessing. Yes. Now look at Psalms 44. Verse 1 to verse 3. Now, I may have Psalms 44, verse 13 as an error. It should be 1 through 3. Put a little line. My, 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 my little hyphen got disappeared. It so <laughs> got lost. But I want to show you Psalms 44, verse 1 to verse 3. Oh, and is, this, is this helping y'all, some of y'all? I'm trying to like, pray this prayer in the morning time you get up. Pray it. It is called a priestly apostolic prayer. It's a blessing of faith and increase. You start praying this all the time. Every day, every day, every day. Increase of faith. It's getting stronger. It's getting bigger. It's getting better. It don't look like what it looks like. I'm not moved by what I see. I'm not moved by what I hear. I'm not moved by what I feel. I'm only moved by belief. And I believe I get the blessing of increase. Yes. Now watch this song. He says, listen. Now this is, this is he's praying, writing this. He says, we have heard of our ears, oh God. God, we heard some things. Everybody say, I heard some things. See? I heard some things. Our fathers have told us what work you did in their days. Yeah. And in the days of old, what did you do, Father? Number two, you drove out the nations with your hand, and it was your power that gave Israel a home 
by rooting out the heathen people. Glory to God. I believe that God has got a home prepared for House of Faith Christian Center. He's got to move some things out. He's got to root some things out. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. That property, that land, hallelujah, is there for us. But God has said, just be patient. Praise the Lord. Continue yes. to pray. Continue to read your word. Continue to love people. And give me an opportunity to root some things out. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. He says, but Israel, you spread out. Amen. Now watch verse 3. Verse 3. For they got the land, house of faith, <laughs> of Canaan, in possession. Listen, they didn't get it by, 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 by their own sword. They didn't get it by their own arm to save them. Watch this. But God, your right hand and your arm and the, watch this, the light of your countenance who did it. Yeah. Because you were... Oh my goodness. That word keeps coming up all the time. Favorable. Yeah. Favorable. Yeah. Favorable. You know, I didn't make this stuff. It keeps yeah. coming up over yeah. and over again. Your favorable towards us did delight in them. Yes. Amen. An increase of favor. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You see God's presence down there? When God's favor shows up, his presence is always there. Bible says, in his presence there's fullness of joy. Yes. And his right hand that place in everyone. And number three, I gotta close on number three. All right? Not only did he give us his proclamation, he gives us his presence, but also he gives us his peace. Let's go ahead to Numbers chapter 6, verse 26 and verse 27. <laughs> I like this. And the Lord lift up, oh my goodness, his approving countenance upon me, if I say me. me, and he gives me his peace, yes. tranquility of heart and life continually. It don't stop. And as Pastor said, it's, just, Pastor Tim said, it's not just a life, it's abundant life. Yes. Every day. Yeah. He says, and they shall put my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. They shall put their name upon House of Faith Christian Center. Yes. Partners and friends of Ronnie Simmons Ministries. And the Lord says, I will empower them to prosper. Yes. Amen. <laughs> See, it's something by the name. Yes. When you put the name up, yeah. hallelujah, glory to God, the prosperity comes down. Yes. Hallelujah. The peace that passes all understanding come upon you. Yes. No, 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 no. Go back. Go to John chapter 14, verse 27. Because this peace, my friend, is not just an absolute confusion. This peace is shalom. Yes. This peace, my friend, consists of completeness and unity and well-being and prosperity and health and wholeness. Nothing missing, nothing lacking, and nothing broken. It's this peace, glory to God. Yes. And God says, I'm going to lift up my countenance, yes. my approval of pleasure, and I'm going to smile on you. <laughs> what is this peace? This is what Jesus says. We close out here. Jesus says, peace, shalom, yes. nothing lacking, mm -hmm. nothing missing, mm -hmm. nothing broken. Yes. This peace, this well-being, this, 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 pro this prosperity, this health, this wholeness, this favor, I leave with you, house of faith. He said, my own peace I now give and bequeath to you, not as the world gives. Do I give to you? So therefore, do not let your hearts be troubled with coronavirus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you like it is. Don't let your life be troubled about the stuff you hear on the news. Some people, some of us, we talk more about stuff on the news than talk about the good news, which is Jesus. I'm talking about his peace. I'm talking about his healing. I'm talking about his prosperity. Yeah, I hear it, praise the Lord, but I speak blessings upon that when I hear. Amen. Do not let your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Stop this. 
He said this to the church. Yeah. Jesus said this to us. He said, y'all, stop allowing yourselves to be agitated and disturbed. Yeah. Agitated over some little bit of stuff. It, listen, stop being agitated. Stop letting stuff get you disturbed. Yeah. Why? Because you got the peace. Mm -hmm. Say, I got the peace. I got the peace. Watch this. And do not permit yourselves to be fearful. Say, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> well, shouldn't you say, I'm not scared of anything? No, I'm saying he's natural. Not scared of nothing. <laughs> and be intimidated right. and cowardly and unsettled. I want to tell you, House of Faith, we're not going to let anything intimidate us. We're not going to be cowards. We're not going to put our tail on the run. No, we're going to stand up strong and we're going to pray the blessings of God. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Everybody stand on your feet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory. I want to tell you. Okay, don't emphasize this. Pray this prayer of blessing of increase every day. When yeah. people ask you to pray for them, you start praying this blessing upon them. Tell them to go to Numbers chapter 6, verse 22 through verse 27, and start praying it every day. I don't care if they need to put it in the phone. I don't care if they need to put it down on the three by five note card, what it is. They need to pray this every day, every day, every day of increase of faith and belief. Here it is. The priestly prayer blessing the increase of favor according to the scripture. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. But you see, I, I, I make it personal. I said, the Lord bless me and keep me. The Lord make his face to shine upon me and be gracious to me. The Lord lift up his countenance upon me and give me his peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Praise the Lord. I, I, I want to tell you, my friend. So conclusion says, what does God desire for us in 2022? Here it is, saints. That his name be great among us. Therefore, what we'll do, we will, number one, submit to his will for his name's sake. Number two, we will praise his name. And number three, we will declare his name. Yeah. Hallelujah! God, listen, if you're going to bless me with an increase of favor, if you're going to do for me for more I can do for myself, the least I can do, God, I'm going to submit to your will. Hallelujah. And I'm going to submit to your name. God, the least thing I can do, I can praise you, praise your name, praise you in the morning time, praise you in the afternoon time, praise you in the evening time, praise you when I feel like it, praise you when I don't feel like it. God, I can just praise your name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As the praises go up, Yes. The blessing. Yes. 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 Amen. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, I will declare your name. Yes. I'll make your name great. Yes. It's not about Ronnie Simmons. Hallelujah. It's all about the name. Yes. Glory to God. There's something about the name. Hallelujah. The Lord is worthy. He's high and lifted up, and he's worthy to be praised. Yes. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it, and they are safe. Yes. <laughs> it's all in the name. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So let's close out. Five, five confessions for prayer blessings, for an increase of favor. And again, listen, my friends, especially watching this broadcast, you got to grasp this. You got to grasp this, this, this blessing. Just stop telling people, just pray for me, just pray for me, just pray for me. You sound like a broken record. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. No, you stop praying this blessing. Praise the Lord. So next time someone say pray for me, and you say, can you, can you pray 
Numbers 6, 24 to 27, but I ain't got time for that. But I ain't got time for you. You ain't serious about this. I love you, but you ain't serious about this. Hallelujah. So here's our confession. Say this. I confess, I confess that this year, that this year I, will I will increase in wisdom, in wisdom stature, stature, and in favor of God and, in favor of God, and with men. And with Number two is I confess, I confess that, God that God will give me, will give me his, proclamation his proclamation through his word. Through his word. And the word, is, and the word is I am blessed, I am blessed to, be a to be a blessing. Number three is I confess I that God, that God will give me, will give me his, presence his presence through spiritual descendants, through spiritual descendants fruitful, land, fruitful land, good health, good health long, life, long life, and protection, and protection from my enemies. From my enemies. Number four, so I confess, I confess that, God that God will give me, will give me his, approval his approval and pleasure, and pleasure through his peace. Peace. Nothing missing. Nothing missing. Nothing lacking. Nothing lacking. Nothing broken. Nothing broken. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And number five, see this. I confess, I confess that I receive that I receive the priestly prayer. The priestly prayer. A blessing. A blessing. Of increase. Of increase. A favor. A favor. And will submit. And will submit to his will. To his will. For his name's sake. Praise his name, praise his name, and declare his name. Yes. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory! Yes! Glory! Yes! Thank you for your Hallelujah! Yes! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Continue this prayer change this your life. Thank you, Lord. I pray this prayer every day. God gives this revelation of this prayer. Just open up and just talk more about this prayer. Lord, you lift up your countenance. What's that mean? Your countenance. He said, I'm going to put my countenance upon you. And when people no longer see you, they'll see me. Amen. Yeah. So let's take our prayer confession. Ready? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that I will increase in wisdom, stature, and in favor of you and with me. I thank you that I receive the proclamation of your word, that I am blessed to be a blessing. You give me your presence, and you give me your approval and pleasure through your peace. Therefore, I receive the priestly prayer of blessing, of increase, of favor, and will submit to your will for your name's sake, and will praise and declare your name. As I realize this, I understand and receive your increase of favor for my life in 2022. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And amen. You may be seen the glory of God. You watch this broadcast by, by either Facebook Live or by some social media and what it is. Listen, you want to start off this new year. And I talked about this on last Sunday. Yes, you got to start making excuses. T, you got to take an inventory of your life. A, you got to start acting in faith. R, you got to start refocusing your thinking. And T, you just got to trust God. If you want this priestly prayer of blessing, of increase in your life, receive it. You got to do it. But it all starts with Jesus. Well, I believe in Jesus, so does the devil. And guess what? The devil hasn't made Jesus Lord of his life. But you know what? You can do that today. Not just say, I believe in God. I want Jesus to be Lord of my life so I can receive this blessing of increase. So if you've never done that, listen, it's as simple as just saying A, B, C. A, admit that you're a sinner. You deserve to die in your sin. B says, believe Jesus died on the cross for your sin. And now, listen, really to repent of your sin. Not to say I'm sorry, but I really repent of every sin. And C says, confess him as your Lord. A, B, C, you can receive that right now in your life. So you can receive, listen, this anointed priestly blessing of increase of favor upon your life. Again, not just material things, that's part of it, but it's more things. I'm talking about peace, a wholeness, a tranquility. 
I'm talking about good health. I'm talking about long life. I'm talking about, listen, uh, 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 blessings more than you could ever imagine. Because it's not just about you. See, the Bible says you're blessed with your blessing. So let me just pray for you right now this prayer. For people have prayed all over this world. Simple prayer. Millions and millions of people have come to Jesus through this prayer. It's called the sinner's prayer. And let me just pray this prayer and let you pray this prayer. This is these words after me at the beginning of this year, 2022, because God has a major favor for you in 2022. See, as I said, this 21 is gone, but 22 is for you. And it can be for you today. So let me pray for Satan's word. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I admit that I'm a sinner. I believe Jesus died on the cross for my sins. And, and, and I confess right now, Jesus is my Lord. Thank you, Father, for saving me and making me a new person. And I want to receive this increase of blessing of favor in my life for this new year. And I will give my life to Jesus right now. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. My friend, if you just prayed that prayer, I'll be the first one to say congratulations. And now listen, there's some information I want to share with you because, again, if you're going to be a believer, it's important for you to be a believer. And there's a phone number that's like on the screen that you can call 615-223-0420. 615-223-0420. And, and, and let the Spirit of God, the anointing of increase of favor, blessing, come upon you. You call that number, leave your name, and leave either your email address or phone number. And someone from my ministerial staff will get back in contact with you, my friend. Listen. Don't go through this year, 2022, living a defeated life. If you're going to have a new start, you got to stop making excuses. Well, it's warm outside. Stop making excuses. Well, it's too windy. Stop making excuses. Well, there was a the snow. Stop making excuses. Well, that's the rain. Stop making excuses. To start for a new year in 2022, my friend, for Jesus. And you can receive everything He has for you. But maybe you have received Jesus and you say, you know what, I need a new church. I need a new a beginning that you have. I would recommend House of Faith Christian Center, located in beautiful Smyrna, Tennessee. And here's the thing about it is, listen, you can connect with us wherever you are. Call that same number, 615-223-0420, and say, you know what, I need a new church family. I, 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 I need a new start. I need a new beginning. I need some new friends. I need new pastors. I, I need new saints of God. I need that. Call that number and we'll get back in contact with you. This is your season. This is your year. What are you going to do with this priestly blessing of increase of favor? Is it going to be just, well, you know, it's just another sermon. Oh, yeah, just another sermon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to talk about is it really revelation in your life? You can see that. The decision is yours, and I want to thank you for it. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, y'all, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We want to thank each one of you for this. Listen to that word, your blessing in the name of Jesus. We're going to continue on in worshiping the Lord and, and uh, uh, through our period of offertory. And uh, again, if you need an offer, don't go raise your hand. We'll go ahead and get that. But listen, here you can join with us. We sow it to the kingdom of God. We sow it to the things of God. We sow it to the word. We can't pay God for what you just heard. But we say, God, I thank you. Because this is a life change. Man. As I said, listen, my friend contacted me a few years ago and told me about this. And I've read it, but I've never got a revelation of that. And I want to tell you, since I've been doing it, it has just truly changed my life. It's changed my ministry. It's, it's changed so many things about me and my family. It can do the same thing for you. But again, listen. Are you going to tell God you love him? How, well, God, I want to love you. How can you do that? By sowing your seed. And so there's three ways you can give an offering to the House of Faith Christian Center. You can do text giving. You can do online giving. Uh, you can do checks and mails. You know, address there. House of Faith Christian Center. Post office box 985. Smyrna, Tennessee, 37167. However you want to do that, you can do that. Oh, my God. And God will truly bless you. In his name. In his name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And so let me just pray this blessing upon you. In the name of Jesus, right now. You just lift up your offering that you have. Listen, no offering is too big, no too small. Listen, God is not just listen what you give. He's listening how you give. 
God loves the children here. Listen, you make big, you give big. You don't have enough, give what you have to do that. That's what he's looking for in your heart. You are offering yourself unto you. This is your offering, represent your offering yourself unto the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this priestly blessing of anointing your life in the name of Jesus. So let me just pray over you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Father God, for this period of offertory period. Thank you, Father God, for the goodness you bless us. Thank you, Father God, for the blessing you upon us, that you making your face shine upon us, that you're gracious to the Lord, that you lifting up your countenance upon us. And Lord, you have given us your peace. We thank you we receive, Father God, this priestly anointing of blessing, of increase of favor upon those lives, Father God. And I speak it right now in the name of Jesus. We pray amen and amen. We praise the Lord. We just go ahead and give because God has blessed you and we thank you for it as the Lord. Lord uh, praise the Lord. Listen, uh, God just loves you so much and we love you too. So again, thank you for listening to this broadcast. We appreciate you uh, as well. And uh, if you want more information about House of Faith Christian Center, again, you can go into our website or go to your phone number. We have to contact with you. But I will tell you again, House of Faith Christian Center, we are threefold vision. We have to exalt the Savior, equip the saints, and advance the sinner. We have five purposes. They are evangelism, worship, discipleship, and ministry. Again, I'm Pastor Ronnie B. Simmons, Pastor of House of Faith Christian Center. Let you know these familiar words that Jesus Lord and continue to show compassion in your actions and we'll see you next time. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, praise the Lord. Well, we just enjoy this word at all. Mr. Mallory, you're going to come and take us through our mission statement and announcements and all that as well. And we just love you guys. Praise the Lord. And we pray this word and bless you. In the name of Jesus.